dear first years. We know this year has been hard and trying. You've tried to do your best. But we are here to tell you, you were made for this. You deserve this. It's going to happen for you. You're going to be a dentist. You're going to be a doctor. You're going to kill your DAT. You're going to kill your MCAT. And things are going to work out the way you need them to. This is your time. This is your time to be exactly who you've always wanted. This is your time to achieve the biggest dream. This is your time to put in the work. This is your time to put in the effort. This is your time to be the The message is for you. Hi, first years. I just want to say congratulations on a wonderful year at Med Prep and that you guys are more ready than you think that you are for your MCAT exams. You guys have been studying from the day that you got here. So
struggle, and many of you are trying to figure out how to stay the course. I wanted to do something to convey my emotions and my hopes for all of you. And I thought, you know, this is the time for poetry because our emotions are so strong and so raw at times, I don't know what else could capture it. And there's a lot out there that's amazing, that stirs the soul, and you've probably heard them all. Two roads diverged in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Robert Frost. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. James Weldon Johnson. Hope has conspired with the wind and blown away the demons of despair. Maya Angelou. But I wonder if this is a time that not even words can reach us. What words can soothe over the difficulty of this moment? The angst you might feel as they keep postponing those test dates. That's really difficult, but it starts to pale before the fear you may have for the health of your family, the prayers that you have given for those you love. So I don't just wanna say, keep going, because it sounds so out of touch and so easy maybe for me to say from where I sit when I cannot know the struggles that some of you are facing. But my most fervent hope is that you will somehow, some way, despite the fact that no one has any right to ask this of you, certainly not I, but that you will keep going. The world needs each and every one of you, and you deserve the chance to reach your dreams, and I am pulling for you every step of the way. Family first, but if you can, stand and be strong and move forward. The application will demand flexibility and perseverance this season, but you all have that. I know you got this. So I'll leave you with just one poem, a haiku by Jessica Garber. I am green with hope that is ever growing and I refuse to shrink. Be well everyone and good luck.